Where to find $16 million? That is the big question <laughs> in Jefferson County tonight. Good evening, I'm Andrew Hill. And I'm Shannon Ogden. The county is $16 million short, so they're making cuts. And the Jefferson County Fairgrounds are on the chopping block. And Denver 7's Addie Guajardo spoke to fired up community members tonight. Addie, it's clear by the amount of people who showed up, they are not happy about this. Ann and Shannon, they are upset, but they are determined to find a solution. Tonight they spoke with passion and war shirts reading Save the Jefferson County Fairgrounds. Now it costs $1.8 million to run the fairgrounds operation. It's used by youth equestrian groups and also by the Rodeo and Future Farmers of America. And as people were rolling out of that meeting, nearly three hours later, they tell me they're heard, but there are many, many more discussions ahead. People came out in droves. We don't fit in the room. <laughs> it's a very small room for the number of people who are here. To speak out. I'm worried about so, the future uh, of uh, Jefferson quick, County Fort uh, Fairgrounds. I was arguing that tourists would be affected. Um, that's something that people can come to see events here at the fairgrounds. We want to show our support for the Jefferson County Fairgrounds. It's really important to us. The third option was uh, el elimination of the fairground operation. The county's considering several options, including closing the Jefferson County Fairgrounds operation due to a budget shortfall. Last year, voters turned down ballot issue 1A, which would have allowed the county to keep Tabor refunds for seven years. Tonight, the county manager says they are faced with a tough choice. Residents brainstorm solutions to keep the fairgrounds operation running in 2021. Well, how about let's lower it to generate the business to bring it back. Like making it an open space and prioritizing what community members need. Rebecca Wilco rode her horse to the meeting. She says the fairgrounds are vital for her business. Well, we use the fairgrounds a lot. Um, we are riding instructors and we, um, we like having access to the indoor arena. For others, it's an essential part of the community. For me personally, it would, it would be heartbreaking. I spent a large portion of my youth out here. I've been counting on this being here for my children. Many locals here say they won't give up without a fight. I think there are a lot of solutions coming out of the community. Um, there are lots of good ideas and I think we need more discussion on it so that we can come up with a solution that will make the fairgrounds viable and even profitable. Now, the community has also started a Facebook group to help save the fairgrounds. They have nearly 2,000 members. Now, this isn't the only service that's looking at potential cuts. The Jefferson County Jail already had to roll back and make cuts for employees and let out inmates earlier than expected. Reporting live in Jefferson County, Addie Guajardo, Denver 7.